arc blow. Arc blow is a deflection of the welding arc due to magnetic forces which occur with the flow of electricity. This basically happens when we are using direct current to weld. So whether it be direct current positive or negative, uh, we would actually uh, possibly run into arc blow. It can technically happen really with any process that use direct current, uh, but in most cases we see it when we stick weld the most. What it really is, is I have a picture here and you know our arc comes down this cone shape and we want to keep it centered. So maybe we're, we're doing a butt weld like you see there and we want to keep that arc centered and we want to equally uh, cut into both pieces of metal. We want to equally fill up the joint and fill it out. Well, what happens is instead of it staying in that spot, what it does is it shoots kind of over here or wherever, it doesn't really matter where, but that magnetism builds up and it pushes that molten metal as it's dropping from the rod over and uh, puts basically some metal where you don't want it. A lot of times in our classes we see it on vertical up with our 6010 root pass or it doesn't even have to be the root pass but we, we do see it in a lot in the vertical up. So we have some solutions. Number one, turn your amperage down. So if you think, oh I like to run my stuff hot, well, you're getting a lot of arc blow, just turn it down, you know, a couple amps, start there, and, you know, a couple amps at a time until possibly the uh, arc blow goes away. Another really important one, this should always be done no matter what, if you can think about it prior to welding, is you want to weld away from the ground clamp or workpiece lead, whatever you want to call it. So here's a picture, and uh, this is uh, a, a, a V-groove that is being welded in the vertical position, and the place that maybe you would want to go ahead and clamp is down here. You would want to clamp to the piece. And as you're welding vertical up, you're welding away from the actual ground clamp. And that will help prevent the uh, magnetism from building up. Really what happens is if you were opposite and you were clamped up here, what's going to happen is as you get closer, as you get, you know, move vertically up, as you get closer, you're going to build up more and more magnetism which is actually going to cause you some headaches okay number three keep a tighter arc length so this rod here is we'll say uh, one rod diameter away which in the picture doesn't look like that but let's go ahead and uh, move that down so here you can see that I've went ahead and moved the uh, electrode closer and we'll say now we're a half a uh, diameter off the base metal uh, when you're doing vertical ups and you're getting arc blow, a half a rod diameter is probably a solution. You really don't realize it, but there probably still is arc blow going on, but it's so close to the base metal that it doesn't have uh, enough space to move uh, far enough away to, to really affect your weld. So that's all you're really doing, okay? Uh, number four, if it's an option on the machine, uh, try the uh, dig arc force or arc uh, control feature that is out there so depending on the actual machine you are using uh, it may or may not have that feature uh, but it does work great if you do have it uh, number five weld using AC or alternating current it really doesn't allow the magnetism to build up because you're going in and out two different directions so rapidly that you, you really don't get any magnetism building up whereas direct current it's the electrons are going in one direction and you do create that buildup. And that is the overview on arc blow.